We're ready to explore Costa Rica. I'm just gonna enjoy my whole life. We're gonna learn to be a little more laid back on this trip, I think. We're at a water park. We're gonna have some fun. Take the bottom of the pool, it's really shallow. Things out there. It's big, whatever it is. I'm a little freaked out about what's over there. <laughs> What was that? Some kind of alarm? I don't know. Did you sleep on the plane? Little, very little. <laughs> I was missing this piece in my ear. Oh yeah? I had the hard piece in my ear. Yeah. Found it though. Okay. We have been waiting right here uh, for the last probably 50 minutes, 5 0, um, for our taxi to come and bring us, take us to get our rent car, our uh, van that we're going to be driving. And uh, they were supposed to meet us here at 6, 6 55. So, hopefully, soon, this is what's happening. It looks like a, looks like a yard sale out here. Um, time's a little different here. They're a little, a lot more laid back been in the States. They said they'd be here in about five minutes and it's been about 25 minutes. And that's after we were supposed to pick up our car at six and it's seven now. So we're gonna learn to be a little more laid back on this trip, I think. All right, we, I keep looking at my watch. What time is it? It is 7. 7.56. Almost eight o'clock. Only two hours after they said we could pick up our rental car, <laughs> are we finally minutes. pulling away? Yeah, five, five minutes. Hours we will be there in five minutes and five two hours, hours later. Wow. But we are in the car. We don't have to wait on anybody else to give us a ride. And we're ready to explore Costa Rica. Or are we? We're stuck. <laughs> well, maybe not. We're stuck in here forever. <laughs> I love Costa Rica. You do? I'm so glad. It's gonna be so fun. And this is only the first two hours of it. Wait till we actually get to do things. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy my whole life. I'm that's so good. glad. glad. That no matter is, where you're at, right? That's the way to live. That. that is the way to live. Pura Vida. Holy cow, you guys see that spider up there? It oh is massive. God. Do you see it? Is that a smiley face spider? I don't know, but it's huge. No. See how big that is? Oh, there's like a baby. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. I want that cow right there. Dude, so behind us. You got it? Yep. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's moving. Whoa, oh, this is a coal bridge. We finally made it. Five hours later. No, let's see. It feels like it. It's actually hours five later. hours later because really? we were supposed to leave at six oh. and it's 11. Oh, <laughs> we made it. So, as you can see, we're at a water park. Can't really see it much, but we're at a water park at Costa Rica. You already knew that we're at Costa Rica. So, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So we're walking to eat dinner right now. I'm just so starving. I can't wait to eat some food. And then we'll do the walk. We decided to start the day off. Woo, after a long drive. Woo. 
It's like, it looks it's like a rainforest um, at, uh, I guess it's a, a hot springs. And there are some slides here that are actually pretty cool. Look at this one. I know. This right? one's pretty wide. It's it's for a oh, it's for a tube. But look at that tube coming up right there. That's like a full family tube. Right there. So that's the one that we're going to go in. I don't think we're gonna scream like that. Maybe we should actually. Dude, how was it? <laughs> yeah, we almost came out. That was fun though. That is crazy! This is pretty cool. We're in the pool and it's raining on us. We're literally in the rain for us. Try putting alcohol in there. No alcohol. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no, I'm so scared. <laughs> that was so scary. Sorry about my really loud screaming. I hate the bottom of the pool. It's really shallow. Uh, I, I don't actually see a cut. Oh wait, oh, right go? there and right there. Uh, okay, just rinse it off. Okay. Not in the. Let's go. We're all you now, kid. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, Ooh, we are yeah. in. We are here! We are here! We are here! It is really humid here. And it does. It smells so good. This is so pretty. Usually, like when you're in this much foliage and this humid, it smells. It has like a like a rotten smell. This smells so good. Look at the hammock out here. Wow. Aww. Why don't we just do this tile in our house? Yeah, let's do it. Beautiful. This is a cute little place. Oh, awesome. look at that. I love Swan. No, me and Dad and the boys will be in here probably. Or yeah, well, I mean, oh, we gotta look at the other side there. and see. They're probably exactly the same. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's all we need. You can yeah, like it. A bow on the toilet. This is nice. This is a really nice place. Yeah. Let's go get some food, people. This is the front porch. This is our front porch right now. And um, for the next, what, three days? Four days? I want to go check out the pool. The I'm waiting on the kids. Look at this path. That's cool. I'm guessing in the rainy season, this is full of water. Oh, there's a pool back here. That's nice. <laughs> Oh, the cicadas are getting very noisy tonight. And look what I found. Bananas. Mini bananas. The bugs are already all over it though, so they'll probably have that devoured in the next few days. We'll watch it just in case some of them turn right as right now. It's really, really green. That's an aggressive cicada right there. Vagabond Pizzeria. Hey, Danielle, if dinner's not good tonight, it's all your fault. <laughs> um, if dinner's not good tonight, I'm gonna go to sleep and pretend that I wasn't here. <laughs> hey guys, you wanna eat? Ask me eat. Yeah. Eat. Boy, <laughs> Ask me. Pobrecitos. We were all looking up chocolate and we just finished up our pizza. Yeah, now I need something in my belly to counteract the 
Brandon. Mommy needs to eat chocolate before she can't get it for 90 days. Chocolate. 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 Thanks, guys. You see it still? Yeah, it's like ducking behind these. Oh, 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 there it is. Where is it? There's a couple of them. There it is right there. This huge. You see how big it is? Oh, that's so rad. It came right to the camera. Sarah and the kids and Kate all went to bed because it's just getting late and Brock and I came out here and we saw some fireflies. That was so rad. Finally caught, caught one. You just saw it on on, uh, we didn't catch it, but we, we saw one on the camera. But uh, so rad to see fireflies out here. God. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, is it tiny? It is so small. Ready? Yeah. Look how oh, little it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I gotta take a picture of it. I know. Okay, that was really cool. I'm a little sad that the boys missed that portion of it because Canyon would have went berserk and Az would have too to catch the frogs. But we'll bring him out here tomorrow night and um, we'll things out there. It's big, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's watching me. Anyway, that was really cool. Bring the kids. I'm like, I'm a little freaked out about what's over there. Stop laughing. It's not funny. I'm just gonna come out and jump and attack me right now. It's gonna jump through those bushes and bite my face off. I'm in the jungle. We're in the jungle out here, literally. At the base of this volcano, we're in the jungle. And there's stuff moving through the bushes. Guys, if you're scared of stuff behind you, <laughs> tell me. Don't let, don't let fear be in your way. And I don't mean of stuff in the bushes. You should be probably worried about that if you hear noises like I do. But in life, there's so many things that we get scared of. We get scared of of um, opportunities. We get scared of things like, what if, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? And, you know, should I get my license? Because what if I wreck my car? Or should I get married? Because what if this person's not my forever person? I've thought so much and, and uh, worked through so, so, like through things like so hard thinking about this, that, um, that I've learned to lean more into what if it does work out, but what if it does? What if you drive the car and never get in a wreck? What if you marry that person and it becomes the most incredible relationship ever? Like, what if? And a lot of that has to do with how willing we are to work at something and not be scared and not be worried about what's around the corner. Just work work, work, and do the best you possibly can. Anyway, I know there's one, out, one of you out there watching this that's struggling with something and, and I don't know what that is, but you do. You do know what it is. And um, just remember that fear and being scared of the unknown only makes the unknown so much more unknown. That's all it does. It actually doesn't give you any strength. Um, so just keep doing the best you can do. Keep moving forward and plow through those fears and uh, you'll see what's on the other side. And what's on the other side is, is the more incredible you, the best you that you can be is on the other side of that fear. We love you guys. Never forget that you are worth it.